I'd like to talk about a few of my sound reactive routines. The first one just takes the input from a microphone and triggers a ripple and sends that directly out to the uh, LED strip. There's no sound, there's no frequency uh, analysis or anything like that. So let's um, upload that to the Arduino and see how that looks on the LED strip. So it takes a second to compile and then there's a, a one second delay before that starts up. So that should uh, start any second now. Here we go. So it just outputs the signal directly, doesn't do anything with it. The second one I'd like to talk about is one called FHT underscore log, which is, uses fast Hartley transforms and will analyze the frequencies and just output different frequency bins to the Arduino or to the LED strip as well. And in this case, it will do all of the frequencies. So starting at low and goes up to high. So in this case, as you can see, more of the low frequency ones to the right are lit. But if I go like this, it's a wider range, but also some of the higher frequency ones are lit. And let's now try a sweep generator. So that's kind of cool in that we know that the fast Hartley transform program does seem to be working. The last one I'd like to demonstrate is using the fast Hartley transform along with a uh, ripple. And in this case, I'm going to be doing low frequency peak detection. I like to say it's beat detection, but I don't really have the Mathematica chops to, uh, to really do that sort of thing. So let's see how this works. Okay, so here we go. I'm uh, doing my drum, nice low frequency, higher frequency doesn't really work. Low frequency, so as we can see in this case, it is actually detecting low frequencies and triggering, triggering ripples as a result of those low frequency uh, detections.